What's up guys, it's Burn Bike here, and we're going to more into some more Slay the Spider Library of Runa. Wow, words are hard today. Um, but we're gonna go in with the Watcher. See what we can do. Gonna adjust my volume a little bit on here. As I do almost every time, because I have this I never uh do this correctly. Bucket it, let's look back. Um so you guys let me know that this event is related to the amount of cards we have unlocked. So, um, challenge will be white. Or deal this one will be right. I mean, I mean, we might as well do the challenge. We haven't seen that uh, span of a single blink. So, or deals will be white this time. Don't know what that means yet, but we'll see. I do like the swanky jazz music in the background. Pretty nice. Um, okay. Question mark path up to a bonfire. Early shop. Well, we'll do the late line shop. The later line shop. Not really that far. Um, I'm curious how this one's going to go. Uh, a lot of these cards are going to be a lot of the lobotomy specific cards. Uh, I feel like we'll be pretty good with the Watcher. A lot of high power cards. Um, so being able to pair those with like Eruption would be very nice. But we'll have to see if we can actually get some. Oh, neither one of these excite me. So we'll take the card we don't know. Um, let's see what this does, and then we'll decide what card we pick. Trying to be a little better. Uncontrol, remove a random buff from a random enemy. Okay. Lose two HP. That's fine. The only downside I can see to that is... Removing a random, losing the 2 HP. What if the enemy doesn't have any more buffs? If we have a very small deck, it's going to be worse, I guess. So, something to keep in mind there. I'm going to go in with a simple start. Simple, uh, I was going to say T set, but that does not, it's not applicable here. Um, let's go for the kill here. I'm going to really, really lay into the amount of damage I think I can do. And I am one short because we're weak. That sinks. Should have mathed it out, but there's the two from Wallgazer. Hmm. Right in the universe is just very good. The one additional artifacting each combat at the start of combat is pretty nice. Let's take one of these. I'm pretty okay with that. And we want more for the bucket anyway, so I'm not. I didn't buy it. Hmm. Probably one mill strike. Just having a high powered card is pretty nice. High damage, I mean. Power damage, same difference. Basically. Do that, and we're just gonna pass here. Flying sleeve, while well, good. I guess I could play the defend and then flying sleeves. There's probably a way around. I'd like to get around it. Um. Option windmill strike, which one? Nine. Seven. No, I can't. I can't figure out a good way around it. Let's just hold for now. Play that, and we'll wait. Let windmill strike try to get stronger here. Wall gazer took off the enemy's thorns. Okay. I see you. Oh. I really like the black, the dream of black swan. But this did... We've never seen Elijah. Use the counter by one. Uh, let's take the new card. We, we need to unlock them, unlock them all anyway. And then, there we go. Lessons learned early. Very nice. Uh, let's see what this is. Gain six block ethereal. Crumble armor. Whenever this card is exhausted, gain four strength and add a copy of this card to your draw pile. Okay, what's the, the negative? If you have exhausted this card, you will take damage whenever you play a skill. Each time you exhaust this card, increase the damage taken from playing skills and increase the block value of this card. Ooh. How much damage? That's what I want to know. I can just never play this. Well. Okay. I see what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not, but I see them. They they have put out a 
a nonsense and I am understanding the nonsense. We'll lose the 5 max HP, actually. I just don't know how okay I am with it. Ugh. 5 combat. Let's actually make Eruption 1. I feel like that's the most memorable. To be able to play it and then, like, go for the kill. Pretty important to me. Ow. 2 from Wallgazer. Uh, we removed Fungi for one. I feel like Wall Gazer is going to be really good in like a um, vulnerability. Eight by the um, artifacting that we have. Kind of makes me want to get another copy of that card because we're not exhausting anything. You are 10 eruption here. Let's knock one of these out, I think. Do this. Oh, you're doing more. Do that. Commit the card. Uh, I've done this wrong. This is a super no good bad time. A better way to have done that, but they're out of here, so. And we got the upgrade, so. Teach their own. I think by the time we pass around next time, we're gonna have enough cards kind of unlocked to um, really like start. Because right now we're just unlocking cards. That's my main goal. I don't have a lot of synergy planned out. I'm not taking like specific cards. I'm taking new cards mostly, unless there's just something I really like. Um, but starting probably next pass or the pass after maybe, we'll be able to actually take cards just because we think they'll be good in the decks we're playing. Uh, add this card to your hand at the start of your turn. If this card is in your hand at the end of your turn, deal 15 damage to yourself. So we have to play it. That's all. The current, the dreaming current is pretty much like a one cost every turn pretty much we reduced our it's pretty much will eat up our miracle assuming we don't take damage uh another windmill strike is kind of tempting uh making our cards cost less is pretty gonna be pretty efficient okay let's see here brilliant what's your mantra sands of time we're kind of on a retain build here let's start a combat uh it's a Nate card. I don't think that card is going to be considered a Nate. Ancient T set is really tempting. Really good for boss. I have two additional energy at the start of next combat. Nothing here is exciting besides that. I think I'll take it. Give me the T. Um, I think I will go for the the rest probably. And the first two status is Dawson Dola card. That's pretty nice. If I go for this elite. I go for more question marks. Mm, I could go across and I get one more additional question mark. And I still get the bonfire. I like that. This decision I've made, it is good. It will cut. I don't even have traditional TV. And I still somehow have managed to watch Towards and Fire. Or at least some of it. Okay. There's our six healing. This is a weird one. Um, roll my d20. 15. Cool. Still looking for that natural 25% chance. Uh, we're going to hold the windmill strike for now. Let's go with the full block this turn. Okay. So this, so we, yeah, this pretty much costs one energy each turn. Crumbling armor I need to play, right? Actually, this is going to be the test. Let's let it pass. Right. All right, so there's the dreaming current again. Ugh. All right, so that thing exhausted. What happens when I play a skill now? Defend five damage. Okay. Defend. Yeah. So it's five damage per skill every time we exhaust a crumbling armor. Okay. It's a little that's a little steep. A little steep if I do say so. Why do you have a question mark? What have I done wrong to you? Okay. Um nine. Twenty five oh I bet that was the blue mage. He made it one less and then reduced his cost. This is not a skill. Uh, that is considered a skill. 
This is also considered a skill. But I just take nine here. Oh, I'm oh, actually I need to play. That one was ten. That was nonsense. Oh wait, yeah, it's ten. Because it goes up every time I exhaust them, so now it's gonna be fifteen. So gotta play this right. Um, two attacks here though, and then lesson. Oh, I can't listen. I should just go for that. Why are we one less energy? It has to be something he did to us, right? Not sure. Keep doing it. Lessons learned. We're, we're just not going to get out this time. I'm not going to take 18 here. Alright. I will heal 6. I can't tell what things are, but it doesn't matter as long as it's an attack. Okay. These are fine. But this is 86. We are running a little bit low here. Add a random card into your hand. I don't know. Rup uh, Rupdopa? I don't know if Burning jars actually kind of suck. Because we don't want skills. They get very much infinitely worse. Two times. Retain adjacent cards. I actually kind of like Blunt Jab here. This is like a slow progression to, to dying. Oh, another shop. Weird. But there's Matroshka would have been good. Able to, to obtain new rocks. That's while cool is not good. Ragnarok would be super nonsense. Hmm. I need like a discard card, really. Um it's like discarding crumbling armor. I mean really we don't want defense in here. We want to add less skills. Let's go across. Enter a portal. Come here. Another fight. Oh, request for minor chore to to murder by contract. Anything for a paycheck. White fixer. Okay. Eight damage coming in. Heal here. Go ahead and grinning jar here. Okay. Blunt jabs. Defend. I'll call it there. This music's pretty nice. I'm liking this. That's just, that's a gun. Why do you have a gun? All right, there's crumbling armor. They're doing a ton more damage. Go ahead and vigilance that in. I'm gonna go ahead and miracle the crumbling armor away. Nine, lose 50 gold. I don't have any gold. Random card, okay. See what you're doing to me. Just gun again. Oh, halo gun again. Ooh, it's like a sword slash. Okay with that. Alright. And currently we're making up. We're retaining energy. Pretty good bit of it. Bring jar here. Okay with this. Deal that damage. Go ahead and drink this. Um. Uh. Add the expunger to the deck. Let's not play it yet, though. Okay. They're charging their gun. Oh, they're praying. I bet they're setting up for a big attack, honestly. Mm-hmm-hmm. Dream. Honestly, let's go ahead and... Eruption here. 16 damage coming in. Go ahead and block for 12. A little bit more. Okay. We'll block here. Alright. There's a bunch of damage coming in. There's Vigilant. So let's get some damage in. Let's... Jar. I didn't turn that down. Just to here. We're Vigilant at the end of the turn. So I get one attack. Both of these are 18. But this retains. Okay. Vigilant's here. That is fine. I'm sad I didn't get to play out my heal. That also deals damage to me. Ouch. Okay, the heal. Windmill strike is still growing. So we have that going on. Uh, crumbling armor, let's try and play that. Even though it could give me strength. Let's also throw this mall off. Praying, so they're gonna set up for a big attack. 
heal here. This is up to 17, not really quite enough. Yeah, I don't have enough to play both of those. Like this, defend here. Our heal really just heals us for wall gazer almost. All right, Rudolph I don't need. Heal again, burning jar. There's another windmill strike. This is up to 20 damage, but that's not really that sizable for like talking logistically. Pressure point. I still don't know what that does. I feel like there's some negative I'm not accounting for yet. Ow. All right, this is a bad turn for me. They got to play both of these two. And we're just going to Flying Sleeper. We're also super weak. I don't know what applied the weakness. Soul Burn went off. All right, these two could probably kill her. Or one of these. With the right hand. There's the eruption. Six plus 52. That's not enough. Oh, wait. Actually, I'm going to go for the Gusto here. Why was the damage being taken back by me? Was that something she was doing? There's no tooltips, which is kind of frustrating. We'll try one more. Like, I, I get keeping me in suspense, but it might have been the card in our hand. I'll, I'll, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, but um, also... If they're going to have full damage reflection, that wasn't what I meant to do. I meant to try the other one. Um, abandon run. Try one more time. If they're going to have full damage reflection or immunity to attacks, they really need to kind of let you know. Because this is a like turn-based card game. Like, I'll remember it in the future, probably, maybe, but... Oh, I'm going the wrong... wrong... I'm doing this all wrong now. It's you have to take the bucket from Niao and then continue. That's where I'm getting lost. I'm in a tizzy if you can't tell. The Watcher, Embark, Exordium, Hawk, Bucket, Look Back. That's what I was going for. Alright, let's try the white run again. Alright, a bunch of question marks here. Elite. Oh, another elite. Question marks. Path. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with that. Going with the spicy run again. Okay, we're going to do Vigilance again here. Take a little less damage. Set up for the Eruption turn. Let's see here. Downside is I didn't have more attacks, but two attacks should finish this off. 12 and 12. There we go. Ooh, two different cards. Let's do with this one. Um, a hum, crescendo. Uh, I don't really like any of these. Hello, Mimic. You are gonna suck. You actually might kill me. Turn one, or like, uh, floor one, you are rough. Turn vigilance and go ahead and strike. Okay, because this, this Mimic specifically does an insane amount of damage. Plus, they clog your deck. I, I will not be able to fight elites, probably. Ow. Alright, um... Double strike, defend here. Why do we get four strength? I'm not sad, saddened by it, but... Uh, I need an eruption. And I need to get some more of this gold out. I should have took the block potion, actually. That would have been smart. Block. Alright. Dead. Chemical of blood. Every time you lose HP equal to 25% of your max, gain a random potion. I think we'll take this one. These two are good. I don't really want to take more damage, though. Also, this one. Oh, I can't unlock it yet. Can I unlock you? Yes. Draw one card. Uncontrollable. Spider Bud. Which we've seen Spider Bud. Ooh, I like pressure points. Pressure points might not be that good, but I like it. Also, I think this is the 18 HP we all take chemical blood. 
We're gonna lay that, and we're actually just gonna go ahead and knock this dude out. So small deck for pressure points. Oop, I clicked off again. My bad. We're just playing two defense and a strike. Keep you right in the loop. Uh, spider bud uncontrollable draw one card if you play it for zero it does something looks like it exhausted a card for some reason not quite sure and this should be the kill right yeah because it doubles it oh we know all these ones uh i'm taking another fragment of the universe very good and i talk to the hand here i like both of those forget the idol we're gonna take the loss of max hp all right. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite us in the butt, but I don't see where it could. Artifacting from Fragment. Um, ugh. Not the best opener. I don't know what you do. I tried playing you, but alas, it did nothing. We exhausted the left leftmost card, and we were taking a debuff. From something. Of course, we don't know what, but... So that just didn't draw the card, it just exhausted the top card. Oh, I don't specifically know what happened, but something did. Um, we're just going to do a triple block here. Of course, I don't... Oh, Spider Bud and the card to the right of it exhausted. Okay. My deck is progressively getting smaller, and I'm, I'm, it does frighten me a little bit. Okay. You're dead. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna take another one. I'm, I want to wait for a minute. Uh, I want to unlock some of these cards I have. I need to gain more. Our HP is pretty low. Um, Will Kick works with pressure points pretty well. Oh, and we have an elite fight here. Okay, what are you doing to me? When this card is played, exhaust the top card of your deck. Okay. Increase the card drawn by this card by one for every card that is exhausted from this card's effect. Max five. Okay. So it's an exhaust... Draw synergy. The prize is exhaust from the top of the deck, which is much worse. Ooh, push point. Wheel kick. Okay. Okay with that. Why are those being exhausted? I don't get it. It's the other card that's exhausting them. What's this thing here? Unfortunately, I cannot double like wheel kick this time because it's irrationally wrong, as you can see here. Uh, I mean, it's not going to matter. I want to go for max damage here, if possible, to the point of drinking this liquid memories, um, bringing back pressure points and playing pressure points. Because if not, we're going to lose. That's fine. I should be able to get the kill here, maybe. Oh, we're one short. Draw the card. You didn't draw anything. Oh, um, I'm, I'm dead by by four. Yeah, even if I do everything in my power. Drink everything. Four damage short. Hey, we got the swiftness potion. That's super good. One more time. Oh, these cards. And I bet those ones don't count as unlocks because we didn't fully... I think the way it goes um, is you have to fully unlock every part of them. I went to the wrong place again. Bandit and run. I, I'm, I'm, I'm tilted. This is nonsense. But it's still fun. I, I want to see some more uh, specifically gold cards. Uh, because we've seen one out of everything. And I would like to see more. Give me the bucket. I know, lady. We'll do the white ordeal missions. I'd like to beat one. Oh, wait. A little help. I noticed that things aren't going smoothly for you recently. Perhaps you feel a sense of defeat. Don't mind too much as you continue to be a hard worker. Although nothing nearly. Uh, you can feel that previous benefits to the future. I think that's worth celebrating. Uh, for this, I prepared a bottle of champagne, which has been treasured for a long time. Consultation. Cheers. Drink it. Just drink it. Hold it to lower center glass and savor the bubbles. Oh, we get a little. Oh, I don't. I. I... Okay. So gain a hundred PE. 
160 gold. No, I want the rabbit team. I don't know what it does, but so open protocol window. I don't know what rabbit team is, but dang, if we will find out. Okay, we're going down centerish path. See how that treats us. Now I'm happy. Happy I was tilted, because we are. We got. We got bunny squad, and it, they're gas mask roaring bunnies. It looks like. Okay, going full eruption. Hopefully this doesn't bite me in the butt. We really need some attacks this turn to make it worth it. Uh, 18. No. Yes. Yes. I was like math. It's after work. It's a Monday. Oh, um, remind me, you're just like, room card, if the test card is play, deal 50 damage to yourself. That's actually fine. I'm actually okay with that. I probably can like, realistically not like skip playing one card. We don't have like one card in the deck that's like the hinge pin. It's like if I don't play this card, we lose. If that exhausted the card, I might be a little bit more skeptical, I guess. Of playing it but oh I gotta remember I have like better ori calcum though and it looks like it attaches to one specific card um, I guess if we built on the uh, built on what's the word I'm looking for the marked yeah the pressure point build and only played pressure point like and we lost that card and to the the you know, bug gremlin, that would be bad, but besides that, fine. This one would be bad because it's just going to get worse for us, right? Card is in your hand, increases cost one for every other card you play. Then this card reduces cost by one. This is free damage, right? Yeah. Free damage. Can only be played if this is the only attack in your hand, deal 30 damage. No. Okay, I don't need any of these. I was trying to think because the reason I didn't take signature move, it was very tempting, but with Meat Lantern, it's not going to work correctly. Um, as in, we could get just stuck not being able to play an attack in our hand. Crescendo and Eruption. Ooh, Vault is pretty good. And Talk to the Hand's very good. This is gross. I don't want that one. Vault. That's a nice one. Spin and six would also be good. Okay. I will take the vault for extra turns. Not a bad card. Also a pretty prime candidate to give up two sprites. If I'm being honest. Like not necessary. Okay. We'll have 15 block here. We'll pressure point you. I also like the pressure point gets around block. One of the, like the few cards that actually does that. Uh, nine damage for you for no reason. Um, is there any reason? Yeah, we'll play Vault just because. Yeah, so we don't take six. Yeah, it pretty much resets our hand almost. It's a good way to think about it. All right. One more turn and we'll have an easy win here. Okay. Um, none of these excite me. And I don't really want to re-roll right now. We'll save that for the next time we do this. Lucky scry, deal three damage. It just eats up a draw though. That's like the downside to it. Um, I think I'll skip. Do I get another chance at a shot? No, so I'll go to the, well, to the I'll go to the elite. It's better. Okay, 12 coming in. Oh, not that great of a turn. But here, why don't we do this? There we go. A little bit better. That. I still think I will Miracle and Vault again. Just so I can get yeah. Vigilance. Now we're up to 13. We're fully blocked now. Mark you. So we don't kill this one um, to get vulnerable, but we also get some damage on the backliner. So now we can double up here. We have the vulnerability, but he's not attacking. Now 13 is fine, but 16 will kill him. So ended up working out very well. Oh, uh, crumbling armor. It's not what I need. 
And honestly, this is just good. Like, technically it takes up a draw, but also it's just fine. Uh, Consecrate is very good. Alright. Um, we actually can just smith a card for once, finally. Vault being two cost is, mm, like, much better. Again, taking a free turn is great. Like, in any card game, free turns are just lovely. Um, however... I don't want to take more damage. Also, are we taking double damage here? Or did that remove our debuff? Oh, we are taking double damage. I was wondering if that would be like a debuff. Um, we are going to vault here. Pressure points. Crescendo. Reich. Miracle. Vault. There's Vig Oh, you are the worst. What's it do to me? Is it 50 damage that we take? Oh no, go back. Okay. Uh, 50 damage to yourself. Wow. I mean, this is only 36, so I guess that sucks. Okay, we do need another way to get out of Wrath then. I didn't even consider that as a problem. I could bunny squad here, but we'll just take 36. It's minus five, of course. Then yeah, they're just dead. But still, that was like a a conk to the head that I wasn't expecting. Ah, uh, fragment. Whenever we play an attack, reduces cost by one for the rest of combat. Playing attack that costs zero, exhausted. A little risky. Um, none of these. Got through fates, almost tempted. But I think I'm okay. Alright. Here's this white request. And I'm not... We're on low HP again, so you know what? Activate the bunny squad. So, rabbit protocol. What does this do? Team use mount. The rabbit team can be called once per run. Maximum four target can point... Per targeted draws when the target dies. Oh, I have to pay. Oh, I can't. I can't afford them yet. <laughs> That's sad. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do then. Let's let's set up for for progress. Get some HP back. We're not like dead by any any stretch of the imagination, but we should play this pretty safe, especially with the astral hammer now, which is very good. Our hands are going to get much smaller. Okay, we can't play you. Um, our hand sides are going to get smaller, and we're going to lose a lot of cards. We need high cost cards um, to add to our deck. If not, we're going to be in trouble. Or a way to add more cards that is a skill. That also will be acceptable. Uh, pressure points is a skill that does damage, so we at least have that under our backbone, like under our plate. We're also getting full, full regen here, which is gonna be nice. That's something you always get. And exhaust that. Oh, I forgot to play a lady first. Ow! Oh, she does have it. I just did, I didn't miss it, so that was my fault. You need all damage deals equal damage back when attacked. I took like 20 damage there. No. That was my bad. Just missed the missed the note. Vigilance here. Free strike. Um We're already blocked because of our other thing. I think my whole goal of this run is to play Rabbit Squad. High investment, high reward prop. Hopefully. Ooh. I don't, I, I don't go for it yet. We actually don't have a lot of attacks left in the deck, do we? No, we don't. But I can at least play this and reduce its cost, right? Yeah. I should. Okay. Hit. We still got the Miracle in hand. Could be very good. Oh, prayer here. Um... 
I can't hit her. It sucks. I'm just going to defend for as much as I can here. I wonder if this counts. That just didn't do damage, and but it did stack up the mark. Which I do like. I like that that's how it works. I'm okay with that one. Old lady. Strike. Uh, vigilance. Defend. The, the best advantage I have going for me right now is as our deck gets smaller, Mark just gets infinitely better. Cause I, we just keep stacking it. It's just inf It's like super poison. Cause it doubles every turn. Um, I might as well eruption, miracle, vigilance. Do it. A little bit more damage there. But I need to remove more defense to make this even more um, useful. Also, the fact. Oh, you are pain. little. Dumb dumb. Dumb dumb me. I just I she even makes the motion and everything. I just don't think about it. Um pressure point. Actually. Eruption here. Vigilance. Just flip back. Pressure point. Defend. Yeah, she's dead. Bad Thorn should be even more dead, but. We have beat White Fixer. She's not praying. She's dead. Cool. We did win. I don't know what this means for us specifically, but um, we do get another thing. Bracelet does not forgive those who with grief, so it should only be worn by those in need. Let's try this one. Prophecy of the skin. Gross. Max equal two and lose four at the start of each combat. That's terrible. I know not to take that one. I don't know why I'd want that. Actually, I could see that being good with Ironclad, maybe. In some roundabout way. Um, we do need to heal, though. Uh, foreign Influence is good with this Astral Hammer. Okay. Party Bloom. Fine. I think I will skip and go for the Bonfire. With 16 uh, hit points. Ooh, chemical X. Lessons learned. Good cards, good cards. But where our cards are get our hand gets smaller and smaller. Flash of steel is very good. I'm just gonna remove. Going to remove a card. Basic defend. Right? Yeah, because the strikes are gonna exhaust themselves over time. The goal is to make the deck smaller and smaller, and I came here for a rest. I, is the boring way out, but I do want to, to uh, make it for a little bit longer. Uh, foreign influence. Uh, uppercut's fine. Oh, that exhaust itself? That sounds good. Is the upgrade exhaust, or is that just my brain? Like, is it just not worth using? It costs zero. Okay. I see the appeal. It gives us one more attack in hand, I guess. That's flexible. Kill you. Um, 12. We're fine. We have full block. Okay. So, oh, perfect. This. Crescendo. Block, block. Right. Ooh, eruption here. Flash of steel. Can I go for the, the gusto? Or at least try it, right? Hit him. Hit him. What are we at? 12. Yeah, we got it. Miracle. Strike. And we had a, we had a ripcord if we needed it. None of these are necessary for me. Not what we want. We want draw power. Or just cards that kind of fit in with what we have. I would take another copy of Old Lady. I would take another fragment of the universe. I, another meat lantern would honestly also be fine. But so far nothing else has seemed too... Interesting to me. Oh, Crescendo. Where, where do you be? Vigilance first. Flash of Steel to draw. Nope, it's Vault. Actually, that's fine. That was not the turn I wanted. There's Consecrate. That's what I wanted. I don't know why I say Crescendo. Um, which is... 10. Hit you. Hit you all. You... Specifically are dead and you are blocked 
Okay, and then old lady, and you're dead. I'm, I was tempted to take Fairy Festival, but I think I'll be okay. Another Consecrate. Not Crescendo, but in my brain it was close. Uh, Florin Influence here, let's start with that. I played this turn. Uh -uh. It'd be fine. Actually, let's just take Masterful Stab. It'll go ahead and exhaust itself out, so... I don't have to worry too much about it. I'm gonna take five here, unless I... No, there's nothing I can do. Okay, um, Vault here is fine. Actually. Joop, and Joop. I didn't even look. I was so, like... Ingrained and in finishing off the combat. I guess the the bug was on the stinking uh, miracle. I haven't even thought about that yet. I didn't get to play with the stupid rabbits. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I'm gonna have to wrap it up here anyway. So that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I'm sad we didn't get to see the bunny rabbits. Uh, I've decided prophecy of skin is terrible, um, but. That's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, next time, we're going back in a re-rotation. And hopefully, we can actually start building actual synergies with the cards. We kind of did it right at the very end. But there's still a few more cards, mostly up in the rares, that we haven't seen. So, excited to see them. And I hope you guys are too. Bye, guys.